Well, welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII. Let's continue on. Now, you joined me at a strange time where you're actually in the middle of a battle with a goblin. Now, these things can only be found on the most one of the most northeastern islands on the world map. I believe it's called Goblin Island. Now, I'm in a battle with this thing to try and learn an enemy skill from it. Okay, good, we manipulated it. Now, I need you to use Goblin Punch on Red, since he has the enemy skill material. Thank you. So we learned the enemy skill Goblin Punch. Goodbye to you. Now, Goblin Punch isn't the strongest attack in the world, but it does have a special bit property. If you and the enemy are the same level, then Goblin Punch, will, I believe, will do three times the amount of damage it normally would. At least I think that's the case. Alright, so yay, we learned Goblin Punch. Alright, so... Last time we had just found Cloud at Medeal and we found out that he's in a coma because he was exposed to high levels of Mako in the live stream. And our next job is to collect huge materia from Corel and from Fort Condor. Let's head for the one at Corel first. Alright, so the fastest way to get there would be to enter from this entrance. Let's go. Oh, right, uh... Alright, you don't need manipulate anymore. You can go ahead and re-equip heal. Thank you. Alright then, let's make our way towards the Mako reactor. Ooh, excuse me. Also could have taken the route through North Corel, but it would have been it would have taken a lot longer to get to the Manka reactor. So this way is quicker. There's the Mako reactor. Now let's go get that huge materia. Looks like they have guards posted at the entrance, so we'll have to take care of them first. Ribbon. That way he 
he's protected from status effects. We're fully healed, now let's take care of the Shinra guards. Try, he's immune. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I guess so, Sid. Oh crud, that train must have the huge material on it. Good job letting it go. Looks like they're taking off with the huge material in that train. <laughs> no, you damn boneheads! Not yet, Red. Hey, do you know who I am? I'm Sid, that's who the hell I am. No, just let me handle it. For us, there was another train in there. How oh, convenient. You don't know. Don't worry, I can handle this. Two levers, one on the right and one on the left. See, just alternate the two levers up and down, right? Judging from the enemy speed, I'd say it'll take about 10 minutes. We're gonna fly, hold on tight. See the train. Aha, we caught up. Now we are being timed, so we're gonna have to hurry through these dot if there's any dollar load, we'll have to hurry through them. And on each one of these train cars we're gonna have an enemy to fight, so we'll have to take care of it. One down. Okay, this time there's two of them. Let's hit him with a beta. Poison, silence, and sadness. All better shit. Now, I think this thing is technically called a Wolfmeister, but he's more commonly known as an Iron Giant. Now, I believe he's weak to water attacks. Yeah, 
Yep, he's t definitely taking major damage from Aqualong. And he's gone. Now, I think this thing is weak to Bolt, if I'm not mistaken. It's got quite a bit of HP. Still kicking. Oh, yeah, it is still kicking. Goodbye. Thing might as well have been a boss with how much HP it had. So this should be the last battle. Then we're going to have to try and stop the train. Oh, this is it? You'll be a cinch compared to the last battle. Okay, let's try to stop this train. I'm working on it. Don't be too scared, though. That's actually supposed to happen to kind, of, to kind of trick you. You do stop it in time, though. Now, the thing is, if you run out of time while you're fighting through those battles, or you've run out of time before, you have, before you're able to stop the train, then it does actually crash into North Corel. Not only do you have to... Not only do you lose the huge materia in that case, but you also have to pay 50,000 gil for the reward from this. Hey there, guys. Yes, we are pretty cool. Yep, we stopped the Shinra train. The Shinra was just about to destroy our lives again. Might be full of shun might be full of junk, but this is the only home we got, Barrett. No matter how tough it gets, our hearts burn bright red like coal. To hell with Meteor. We're coal miners, ain't we? We'll dig a deep tunnel and hide from that Meteor. I got it out of the well. Isn't it an amazing rock? 
Ooh, Ultima Materia. Ooh, sweet, we can rest for free. But yeah, um, if you had let the train crash into North Corel, then you would have had to pay 50,000 guild in order to get that Ultima Materia. But since we saved the town, we got it for free. So, win! I think we can go ahead and take off Shiva because we have something much more powerful now. We have Ultima. Now we can't actually use it yet, as you can see, because we have to level it to the next rank before we can even cast it. But it'll definitely be worth the effort. Alright, so that's one huge materia down. Ah, crap. I just realized. I'm gonna have to go back through the, the Corel Mountains in order to get back to my airship. Darn it. Alright. Bear with me just a bit, guys. Okay, made it back to the world map, and made it back to my airship as well. Alright, so now that Corel is out of the way, we, we need to be making our, our way towards Fort Condor next. Because that's where our next piece of huge materia is. There's Fort Condor. Go ahead and save just in case. So I haven't really messed with this minigame since the beginning of the game. But it's completely optional, so it's not really that big of a deal. Hey there, dude. Haven't seen you in a while. You've come at a good time. Shinra's changing its strategy now. It seems that Shinra will destroy the reactor and then take out the materia that's inside. I agree, Barrett. Let's just have a quick rest and then we'll take this on. Let's do this thing. 